let the attack of the awesome begin. Good morning, Attack Squad, and welcome to the 13th episode of Attack of the Awesome, a podcast so awesome that Humpty Dumpty climbed back onto his wall to get a better signal. Joining me as usual are my fellow host, JJ Laforte. Say hi. My name is Dreamcast now, because I'm I winning a Dreamcast on eBay. Say hi. Dreamcast. Say hi. Hi, Dreamcast. Yeah, whatever. All right, you've said hi. Okay. And we also have Scooter Mike. Say hi. Nobody likes hey. him. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> He's the GameCube. <laughs> I don't like the GameCube. No, I'm the Dreamcast. I'm underrated, but very loved. GameCube didn't sell shit, and nobody liked it. That's what Mike. That's what Mike is. Okay, Susan, I'm... you could be the Xbox or the PS2 and still be selling, or I don't know. You choose. Yay. Still selling my wares, okay. Anyway, on from that weird analogy, let's get started with this podcast, shall we, gentlemen? No. Yes. Yeah. Let's watch TV. No, we're talking. Watch Jerry Springer. So we'll get this party started with our first segment, as always, Around the Web. JJ, why don't you go? I've been watching so much shit, man. You guys don't know what type of shit I've been watching. God damn. <laughs> I hear tell us, brother. <laughs> After you You're going to cut out every time I cough. The, these frosted flakes are, like, killing me. So. Damn you, Tony. I know, Tony the freaking tiger. <laughs> Is anybody on this podcast uh, Earthbound and a Mother fan? Because I know who likes to watch Clan of a Grey Wolf, Rue. He's like a big fan of Mother and Earthbound, and so was I at a time, but not anymore. It's pretty lame, actually. About a few years ago, back in 2009, it was the Mother's anniversary, and pretty soon we're going to be, like, celebrating our anniversary. Am I right, or is that in January? That's this fall. Oh, sweet. So, yeah. On NBC. <laughs> on NBC. <laughs> Basically, Mother and Earthbound are, like, my favorite games. I've just been watching, like, different little fan videos because Mother and Earthbound have, like, the biggest fan base of any video game for a game that only has three titles, and they've been released, like, decades in between each other. It has such a bad history that, like, in America, basically, Earthbound is awesome. I've been watching a lot of fan material. A lot of fans got a lot of shit on the Internet. The fan base is still going strong, even though Mother 4 is never going to come out because the developer doesn't want to make it a Mother 4. He likes it being a trilogy, and that's what it should stay as. Fuck you, George Lucas, for coming out with the prequels. I will go next. Yes, so for Around the Web this week, I haven't actually gone to this site in quite a while. For some reason, I don't know why. Um, Riff Tracks. Now, we all know what Riff Tracks is. It's the mm -hmm. guys from Mystery Science Theater 3000 riffing on popular movies and current movies. And you can download their audio commentary to stick on top of a film that you're watching, and it's fucking hysterical. Yeah. So I, thought, I, wanted, I wanted to revisit it this week because I haven't seen it in such a long time. Um, and you can get some of the, the videos, like the best of videos of Riff Tracks on YouTube and... One of my favourite ones that I had revisited this, this week was a video called The Best of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire Riff Tracks. It is one of the most hysterical things I've ever heard. Just because there's a little of innuendo in the jokes that they make <laughs> with Harry Potter, obviously. Mm -hmm. There's all sex crazed teenagers in there. Um, and it's, it's just so entertaining. I've always been a fan of Mystery Science Theatre 3000 and Riff Tracks just took it to the next level, really, when it's riffing over movies that you're familiar with and you, you grew up with or are familiar with now. And a recent one that they did a, maybe a month or, about a month ago was they did Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. So they had the preview clip of that on YouTube to see. Um, yeah, so anyway, I was watching Riff Tracks doing Harry Potter this week. I'm on the cheap, like, cheap. Who buys Riff Tracks, though? I mean, like, can't you just buy the audio and listen to it? You can, but it wouldn't make any sense if you just yeah. listen to it on its own. I'd just, just listen to it. I do that with uh, I watch. I'm on this website called Hellfire Cons. I'm not on it, but I'm always watching it. I'm trying to get on it. Like they still haven't judged the videos and the content and whatnot because everybody just seems to be lazy around the goddamn summer. But yeah, uh, I submitted some crap to them a few months ago, and they're still haven't said anything about it. 
But yeah, like they do riffs and whatnot, and I'm trying to get us to do riffs right now on like Let's Plays, and Mike's trying to get us in on movies and shit. Speaking of Mike, how you doing over there, Mike? Yay! <laughs> good. Really good. Yeah, so what did you see around the web this week, Mike? Good segue, the by the way. Around the web, I've been revisiting a past web video that we talked about on our first episode known as the Parkour Dog, and I was like, I love that Parkour Dog, he is the shit. Besides that, I've been watching a lot of Doctor Who related material on YouTube. There's like a Christmas song, Spend Christmas with a Dialect, and I was like, what the fuck? What's a Spend Christmas with a Dialect? They're freaking evil. Well, if you live in, if you live in a house and, and just celebrate Christmas up the stairs, then you're fine. They can't get up the stairs. They That's can't. True. Have you seen the dialect like, trying to get up the stairs? They can't. <laughs> they have wheels. That... They can't. They don't, they don't have mechanical legs. If they if they develop them to have mechanical legs, then you're screwed. Right. So that's what we've seen around the web. Let us move on, shall I've, we? I've been watching a lot of uh, um, 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 strip sites and stuff. Can, can I bring those up? <laughs> some no. Why not? You guys don't let me or Chris do any of our porn shit. There's a reason for that. Yeah. Or else you would be our porn. only listener. That's what freaking Demanda Hoggett should review. She should review porn. <laughs> that would be amazing. And the cinema stove does it. Well, but he did like one that. episode. The thing is, Demanda Hoggett, she kind of got that vibe, that like dominatrix vibe and shit. And it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> it'll make her a little bit more raunchy. And just, <laughs> I love to watch a review show, man. She got all of her little slaves and whatnot. What are they called? The minions? Minions. Yeah. The minions. And then they could like all be shirtless and shit. She actually had sex in her video. Technically. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it that video actually. I don't know what it is. Whenever I hear the word minions, I'm just reminded of the wee guys from Despicable Me. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that a good movie? It's, it's brilliant. It's so funny. Have you never seen that? Uh uh-uh. uh. I wanted to see it, but I oh, just didn't goodness. feel like seeing it. It's brilliant, Steve Carell. It was around the that was around the time where I just stopped seeing all animated films because they all pretty much started to look the same. Because it looked at like that Mega Mind movie or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh no, Despicable Me is hilarious. It is absolutely brilliant. As Steve Carell plays the the villain, the villain is the protagonist in it. It is so funny. I quote so much from that movie. It's just unreal is so good right so we're going to move on to the segment known as what in the world of monkeys Mike, we're going to let you go first this time so we can have a sleep okay yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go to sleep Whatever. this time you better not talk about how the cornfield is running low because of the damn crows <laughs> yeah. no shut up go okay. mike all right, right. Mike, go, go, go. all right this summer we are premiering with a new DJ Earworm single. You, everybody knows what DJ Earworm does. He mashes up a bunch of pop songs from this era and mashes it up into one big song. And he just released a new one called Party on the Floor, which features J-Lo, Jesse J, and much more. And it, it f- is awesome. J-Lo make music no more! <laughs> Nothing original, apparently. But DJ Earworm has an art for mashups because he just takes each, of, uh, each person's music and just takes it, their lyrics and makes like a sentence out of each song. It's well done. Well done. Bravo. Yes, bravo. Bravo. Oh, encore, Bring me some grits because I need <laughs> something to clear my throat. <laughs> Tony the Tiger uh, practically we- jizzed in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And other news, uh, Will I Am delivers epic fail when he forgets the words to his single "Don't Forget, Don't Stop the Party." I actually love that sound effect. You know what that's from, Susie? How uh, the price is right. Damn right it is. You didn't think I'd know, did you? No, <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping you didn't. Will I Am almost had to stop the party a few days ago when he had to refer to his cell phone to. Order in order to remember the words to the Black Eyed Peas track "Don't Stop the Party," making not only himself look bad but the whole quartet. And the last thing I had to bring up about here is uh, there's a video on YouTube by the Fine Brothers, and it's called "Kids React to," where kids react to certain topics and people. And this time, kids reacted to Lady Gaga, and boy, the results were hilarious. 
kids were saying that they, she looked like a 40-year-old, 50-year-old. She was weird, and she's crazy. Yep. Uh, kids are right. She is weird. Well, and somebody looks- that travels out to an awards show in a giant egg or goes out in a meat dress is fucking insane. She's so cool. Don't get me wrong. I love her music. She's a brilliant songwriter. She's fucking insane, though. As a Susie, person. have you ever tried to sing pop music? Yes. Really? Yeah. That would be so entertaining. Why aren't you like a pop lyric critic or something like that? That'd be awesome. Because I bitch more about movies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why are you got you, Mike? You should be the movie guy, and Susie should be the music guy, girl. Ah! <laughs> no, I bitch more about movies, and I think I'm funnier when I'm when I'm bitching than being pissed off. So I got a box on better. my head. <laughs> oh my God, see. Is there any special kind of medication you take to be this random? I don't know. I think you guys just woke me up too early in the morning, and the fact that I have cancer and I'm just trying to live off the rest of this hour enjoying myself before I die. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, uh, viewers, uh, viewers uh, listeners who are listening to this crap, I'm sorry. Okay, let me, re- <laughs> let me rename this virus. It's called the Tigress. That's what it's called, and I have the tigress in my throat, and it hurts, and it burns, and it hurts to talk. So I'm going to die, and this is probably the last time you guys are going to see me for this podcast, so I'm, g- I'm trying to make you guys feel all good and shit, so enjoy me while you can. And then I'll just go back under my bridge and keep on trolling you guys either way. I need a bunch I'm of beyond the grave! Woo! <laughs> anyway, any other music news, Mike? That is it. That's all I got. I got some music news. Michael Jackson is still making music from beyond the grave. <laughs> I think, I think Seriously, we know though, that they found already. like two of his tracks actually unreleased. I mean, you could still find them somewhere on the internet or online. Well, I'm not sure what they were called, but just a friend told me about it. Or it could what? be shenanigans, so I don't know. Somebody go out there and prove me wrong. One of them was This Is It. Is it no? This is oh yeah, it wasn't. But that's what the concert was called. Yeah. Yeah. JJ, do you wanted to go next before you die? I shall handle it, and then the coroner will be all like, JJ, he lived a horrible life, but he was a man, a man that can do reviews better than Susie the Blockhead <laughs> chick. And I'll be all like, yeah, I did. <laughs> dead. So what, man? I'm going to be doing fucking reviews until I'm fucking beyond the existence. Anyway, what happened okay. this week? Gaming, man. All right. I don't know. Uh, shit. I really didn't have anything planned. I just woke up and said, all right, let's do a podcast. Let me grab my issue of game former. Why does he wait until I'm about to take a drink to do that? Stop drinking while I... What do what the Scots drink? Matter of fact, what do you drink? Let me ask you that. i got to stop referring to you as Scott, because that's racist. Well, I am Scottish. Oh, 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 oh okay then. Scottish. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, d- does anybody like brisk? Mm, no. That's something to do with video games. Have you guys ever heard of Batman Arkham Asylum? Yes. Yes. Batman Arkham City. You I mean, tell. Like, Arkham Asylum was basically Batman was trapped inside of an asylum with a, with the Joker, and he was just going crazy, unleashing all the freaking like criminals on him. But Arkham City is pretty much the Joker. He actually kidnaps Catwoman. Who, who's going to be playing her in the new, new movie? Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. Yep. He kidnaps her, and Batman has to save her while he has to go against some deranged carnies and just pretty much live while going through, like, all these, like, little challenges and whatnot. So, like, be soon to, like, pick that up, because that game is going to be fucking awesome. They even got this, like, multiplayer mode where you could play as, like, Batman playable Joker people and Carney Joker people. I don't know. It's just pretty much them going around dressed up like the Batman and the Joker going against each other, using gags and different Batman gear to fight each other. So, I mean, like, that's, like, that's why I like Batman. And I'm mad that Heath, or Keith, whatever, Heath Ledger, mm-hmm. he's gone, and we'll never really get that good vibe of the Joker again. It's it's so bad. Have you guys ever played Just Dance? <laughs> Just Dance? I love Just Dance. 
Yeah, they're coming out with a Just Dance 3, and it's uh with more songs than ever, and it's going to only be for Connect, actually. No, it's not only going to be for Connect, but its main property is going to be for Connect. Anyway, yeah, Just Dance 3 is coming out pretty soon. Nobody really gives a crap because I don't play Just Dance. <laughs> I do. It's sweet. Is, isn't it meant to be in this one you can download more songs? Yeah, you can. Internet? You could have done that in the last one, I think. Really? But th- it's like extra downloadable content, but it was very limited, and it was like short at the time. What got me really excited is that they're coming out with another X-Men game, and it's an MMO, kind of like uh, DC Universe. It's going to be called uh, X-Men Destiny, which you create your own pretty, you create your own mutant, and you fight alongside the X-Men and other uh, mutants part of the Academy, taking on different opponents. Awesome. It's coming out holiday season, actually. For what systems? Uh, For the sh- Nikes, uh, PS3 and 360. Pretty much the only systems with actual decent graphics. Okay, and yeah, there's no new James Bond games, but I bought me Nightfire, which is like the greatest James Bond game ever. I will agree on that. That See? is really good. And that segues to Susie, when she's all like, oh, I get to do movies now! And then after that, I turn <laughs> off my mic and I read my magazine, and Mike go takes a crap. Yay, and I get to <laughs> ramble on! Woohoo! Hooray. Good night. Yes. Good night. Okay, so there's a, a few, there's a couple of movie stories and one story that captured my eye this week. The first one um, is about Tom Hanks, the latest movie role that he's taking on. I don't know if you guys all have heard of this at the moment, uh, but he's taking on the role of Major Matt Mason, which was a an action figure released in 1965 Mattel, just along the same lines as G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe! Thank you. No! Uh, <laughs> along, along the same lines as, as those, kind of, those kind of movies, which for Tom Hanks is kind of a weird step back in his career. To was he in Toy it. Story? Yes, he was witty. He's my favorite character. Yeah. He- anyway, yeah. So he's t- that's the latest role he's taking on, and he's work. He's collaborating with Robert Zemeckis, who he's done bajillions of different movies with. One, for example, The Polar Express, which is a phenomenal Christmas movie. So this will be interesting to see him do, because he's, he's never really, well, apart from Toy Story, he's never really played a, an action figure. So this will be the, a real-life action figure kind of movie, which will be different for him. So I'm looking forward to that one. I don't know if you guys have heard of this book or heard this audio clip on YouTube. It's a new children's book that's called Go the Fuck to Sleep. That is a terrible yeah, title I, for I, a children's book. I, have you have I, you heard I it? heard about it. I heard about it. It is a brand new children's style storybook that's been uh, written by a guy named Adam Manchback. It's one of the funniest things I have ever heard in my life and they released um the audiobook for it with Samuel L. Jackson narrating it. If you haven't heard it on YouTube yet, go and fucking listen to it. It is one of the most hysterical things you will ever hear. And basically, Samuel L. Jackson and another guy named Warner Hortzog are battling it out to become the voice of the official audiobook of this of this book. As I said, it's basically a children's book, but it's written for adults. And it's this guy that's trying to put his child to sleep. And you, you know the usual children's book mm-hmm. stories where it's like, oh, the, the tigers, they go to sleep and they sit in the corner of the room and the bears, blah, 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 blah. And it's basically interjected with this guy just saying, and now you sleep quietly in your bed, so please go the fuck to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> it is so yeah. funny. It sounds so anyway. really mean. Like, would you read your kid that? Well, then again, none of you guys have kids. I've read to kids before to sleep, and I just tell them Jack and the Beanstalk, and I abridge it and make the giant sound like he's Mr. T. Fool. They really like it. But this isn't really yeah. one written written for kids it's written in the style of a children's book but it's totally for adults it's basically parents will love this because it's something that they all go through trying to get their their kids to sleep and they keep constantly waking up like why the fuck won't you go to sleep really my mom just turns off the light and leaves the room shit (laughs) anyway so uh that's what else is going on there this last thing i want to talk about is something that there's an announcement going to be made by jk rowling uh, she's going to announce another harry potter no, no, no. Th- th- there's a there's a mysterious website that has popped up. It's called Pottermore.com, and it's basically it basically gives you a link onto YouTube where it's giving you a countdown to the 23rd of June. Nobody knows really what it's going to be about, but there's been rumours that it's not going to be about a book, but something related to Harry Potter. It's a it's a, a new project. That's stupid. 
or something. It's Could it be an something. American Harry Potter, but about a black kid with a lightning strike on his chest, and he can fly and shoot bullets out of his anus, and I don't know, maybe like <laughs> he can <laughs> rise, he can rise like demons out of hell and shit, and I don't know. And you'd star in that? I love magic! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I was Southern, Susie. Anyway, so 23rd of June, there's going to be a big announcement by J.K. Rowling about Harry Potter. has nothing to do with that. movies. J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter, Harry Potter was made into a movie. There we go, okay? How does Go the Fuck to Sleep relate to movies? Is there, is there yeah. a, a movie adaptation? Is there a movie adaptation coming with it? Samuel L. Jackson is a movie star. So. You don't relate it with movies. It's going to be about movies or upcoming movies, not about actors. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so with that weird noise, we're going to move into the weird news segment with Scooter Mike. What's the best way to get off a wart off your finger? Stick something inside of it and peel it off. Go to the doctor. Well, apparently this dumbass name... Sean Murphy shoots off his finger to get off to get, to get rid of the war. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I don't Dang. know. He got drunk, numbed Dang. his finger. He grabbed his shotgun and blasted off almost his entire finger to get off the to get rid of the war. Disgusting. Are you trying to save on on medical expenses? But that incident also left him facing 15 years in jail for the, the illegal possession of a firearm. <laughs> oh, God. When you could just go to the doctors and say, I have a war. Oh, look, there we go. Off you go. And he's just screwed himself. <laughs> he said, the best thing is that the war has gone. It was giving me a lot of trouble. It's your fucking finger. Dumbass of the week. That's what the, this segment should be called, the Dumbass of the Week. And then, Mike, you should uh, win every time. <laughs> Actually, no, let Chris win, because he's a douche. He may be losing all hope in humanity. JJ, when do you get to be the douche? I am the douche. I'm always he is the douche. He's I always the douche. Shit. And I take pride in that, because I'm a super troll, and super trolls <laughs> enjoy being fed. Feed me! All right. I'm like Audrey the Second. Feed all right, me. the next... <laughs> Next one is uh. Be, be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting to be good. Oh, not at all. <laughs> Let's rock, boy. The next article is Pitbull eats part of man who was apparently overdosed on drugs. That's not weird. That can happen right in my place. <laughs> really? He, you think a dog yeah. just just can eat him by his face off? Yeah, it's happened. Well, apparently has not happened. Right, not around here, but um, on the on news programs around here, it's happened. Heard that kind of thing before. So yeah. <laughs> you find things that aren't really weird related to me. <laughs> yeah. Some guy overdosed on drugs. His dog has eaten through parts of the man's face, neck, and chest after he was dead. And he was asked by news reporters to comment. He went, "Tastes like chicken." <laughs> Is it fried chicken? Yes. <laughs> Made by Coney Island. <laughs> yes. Hooray! <laughs> All right, the last one is this one's ought to be interesting. Ecosexuals make love with nature. An okay. ecosexual is someone who loves nature and, and is a part like, of nature. Loves nature, oh behave. The term has exploded onto the world, and a lot of people are coming out of the closet saying, "I'm an ecosexual. I love nature. It loves me. I want to fuck it." Oh God, that's disgusting. <laughs> You know what it was? It's because Chris was talking about his weird porn news and somebody fucking a tree, so... <laughs> I want to fuck a tree. So, these ecosexuals get turned on by watching a campfire or make love in a field or doing tree hugging. There'll be things popping up every now and again, like, I am a wall sexual. I am a I wall sexual. Look at that big-ass hole in the wall. Do you know how big <laughs> that thing is? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> All right, uh, and that is the weird news. Okay, well, thanks for disturbing me for life, Mike, yeah. and not being able to go out in the woods by myself. <laughs> I'll go with you, Susie, and then we can go skip through to the tulips by the garden, and that's where I'll be. I don't know how the fucking song that goes. <laughs> Yay, okay. <laughs> so that weirdness moves us on to the most awesome of the week. So who wants to go? Can I go? 
Yeah, sure. Did it last yeah. week, but I'll do it again. And what's the most awesome game of the week, by the way? My penis. What, what system do you play that on? Uh, you play it within a uh, female's vagina, and I always win. That's I'll just, <laughs> How many that players are there? That is terrible. Um, <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> awesome game of the week is motherfucking Pikmin. Have you guys ever heard of Pikmin? I have. We have Pikmin, Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2, and they announced Pikmin 3 for a uh, motherfucking Wii U. Wii U, Wii U, Wii U. But anyway, motherfucking, motherfucking Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2 are, like, such a fun game because you just take control of, like, these little motherfucking Pikmin who, like, hide in the ground and shit, and you got to pluck them out like they're, like, little vegetables. And they're just, like, little red, blue, yellow, white, and purple Pikmin. They don't got no black Pikmin because they're always evil. But anyway... All those little Pikmin go around, they kill everything just by, like, swarming on top of people and just pounding the fuck out of them. Just serious. <laughs> you just be all like, eh, eh, and they be making little noises. And if you get, like, 20 of them of each color, they, like, sing, and it's just amazing. And it's just wow. like you're just walking around with a big army of Pikmin. I would want me a big army of Pikmin, and I would just want to go to, like, school. Whenever I'm, like, getting attacked or something, I'd just sick them on them, and it'd it just be hilarious. <laughs> I want Pikmin. And I want them to do my yes. chores. I just, like, want them to bring me, like, juices and shit. Mike, what's the most awesome song of the week? Yeah, fucking guy of a we, guy. Of the podcast we, guy. We are going back in time to relive a classic that we know so from us. No, and we're going back in time to 1969. Holy shit. I'm shit, man, I fucking hate you. We should go back to the 70s. Hey, it's the one year before it goes into the 70s. Anyways, in 1969, the mo- I wouldn't even be able to talk to you bastards. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, I would. The bill would, would have been you- passed, but still, we wouldn't be having these differences in conversations. No. Anyways, we wouldn't even I'm be trying allowed to, say to talk is- to Susie. Scott, <laughs> you freaking hate freaking Americans, don't they? No. Yes. The Muppets had a song called Manamana. Menomena. That is the most awesome song of the week. That's been catchy and it's been stuck in my head all day today. So that's the most awesome song. Just like that. Well, I don't blame. uh, That's a good choice with the Muppets. The Muppets are always cool. Anyway, um, and the awesome movie of the week. Fat chicks. I I forgot. It it was this movie starring Monique. You know about Monique. No. Can no. I say my movie now? Oh, I want to do <laughs> yes. the movie of the week. No, I'm doing the movie of the week, so it's, sit down and shut precious? up. Anyway, <laughs> no. Can I say it now? <laughs> back to black. I, oh, for fuck's sake. It's the movie Killers, starring Ashton Kutcher and Catherine Heigl of Grey's Anatomy fame. Really? I, it's I'm... not lame. Basically, Ashton Kutcher works as a professional hitman, and he meets Catherine Heigl um, in France, and they get the... Uh, fall in love and they get married and goes into the future and uh, she eventually finds out that he's a professional killer and hilarity ensues uh, it's very funny and it's got a kind of the Truman Show sense in that there's pr- they live in a neighborhood where there's um, other professional killers apparently and it's not people you'd expect like in the Truman Show there's people that are actors in that that you don't expect but it's Great fun. Killers is great fun. It's got a great cast, and um, just if, you, if you're into that kind of espionage comedy style movie, and you like Ashton Kutcher or Catherine Heigl, then check it out. That is this week's awesome movie of the week. Speaking of, I don't know what, uh, let's go on to the Attack Squad Q&A. Attack Aren't dogs. You? No, not Susie, attack. You own the attack dogs. Sick them on everybody. Okay. <laughs> Anyway. You, got, you ever walk a poodle? No. No. Oh, I don't like poodles. What? Come on, that's the most. That's what all girls like poodles because they're little lap dogs, so you can put them in your purse. I like real dogs. Like pit bulls and. No, I like lap labradors. And... Labradors, and German shepherds, and Rottweilers. I like real dogs. The fuck? A German shepherd is a police dog. <laughs> I walk one. And Rottweilers are just freaking vicious animals. Like, <laughs> You've never met a Rottweiler, obviously, have you? Read the damn questions. All right, the attack squad Q&A. we got questions for all of us here. All right, first question. Can someone explain to me the obsession people have with the new My Little Pony show? It's freaking awesome. That's what it is. 
it's basically written more for grown-ups, and it is wicked. And the humour is so quick-paced and fast and funny as fuck. And the animation is incredible. The characters are amazing. Pinkie Pie is the epitome of My Little Ponies now. She is funny as hell, my and it is so good. Uh, anybody that likes the new My Little Pony now is uh, now referred to as a brony, so I'm a brony. You're a brony. I'm a brony. Uh, his favorite show is Survivor. If we were to go on Survivor, what strategies will we use to last on the island for as long as we could? I'll kill Mike and Before we get... <laughs> What? Yeah, I'll, there's I'll, no cannibalism I'll on Survivor. I'll just, I'll just eat you to myself, and then after that, I'll hide. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be on your own, so you, you figure out something. I'll flirt with all the, I'll flirt with everybody. But there's nobody else on the island, isn't it? Just the podcaster people. Well, I, no, I would Survivor. <laughs> oh. There's other people besides us on the freaking island. Well, I'll eat you anyway. <laughs> Are you tasty? What? Yeah. <laughs> Tasted like a raindrop. Okay, the last uh, question from Movie Fan Twelve. That's for all of us. Is what has been our favorite question to either answer our, ourselves or ask to any of our guests? My favorite one to answer was the one about the the ride. If you could build a the yeah, theme park ride, that was so funny. <laughs> and Mike's ride, I will never forget that. There, what the fuck did I just go on? <laughs> that's so good. Yeah. The best one we've asked somebody was when we were interviewing Doug, and we just said, what did, what did uh, the bum think of the podcast? And then we go, oh, my yeah, God. Yeah. <laughs> Can I be on the site? Yeah. No, you can't, you Scottish whaling. <laughs> that was the greatest question ever. I would have asked that, and I would have asked it more like a man. <laughs> Susie, do a man voice. Yeah. It's not a man voice. Oh, yeah. That's creepy. How did your voice get higher? <laughs> did you just stick your face in the mic? Maybe. Yeah, it's not like you're in my ear. Stop it. Ah! Oh, God, that is so weird. Hello, JJ. Stop it. Is this how it is to get hit on, like, at a bar when a guy just, like, keeps constantly, like, getting in your face? This is yes. so creepy. No wonder why girls carry around mace. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. What would you guys say to the idea of a Hollywood film imitation of Doctor Who? At this point in time, I don't care, but that's because I have no frame of reference for Doctor Who. I want to sit and watch them as many as I can, but I have no frame of reference, so I don't really care. I don't know. It would be interesting to see what Hollywood would probably do to a full length Doctor Who film. See probably it butcher like it. No, I it probably never. would. Butchering. Hence why Transformers exists. <laughs> exactly. All right, JJ, we got some questions for you. Hey, JJ, did you remember the flush? Oh, my God. I what read this fucking question. Jesus Christ. <laughs> did he ask me a serious question? Because I don't have any toilets in my house. <laughs> what? All I have is the sink. <laughs> <laughs> Screwed if there were dishes in the sink. You yeah. said, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> That'd be awesome, actually. All right, JJ, what's love got to do, got to do with it? Well, it really doesn't have anything to do with it. Being in love is like a disease. And it's a disease that people share until they get bored of each other 30 years later. Oh, wait, no, that, that was a funny question. Uh, what it got to do with it because... Everybody needs love, and uh, everybody, <laughs> not, everybody, nod your head and drink some coke. What is love, baby? baby don't hurt, don't hurt me. me. Don't hurt me. No more. <laughs> hey, okay. why, why are you asking me these questions? <laughs> uh, one, one last question for JJ. Do I smell something burning? Is it just me? Oh my God, the oven! Really, nothing's burning. Uh, maybe it's just me. Literally, I'm wearing a box on my head, so that thing might be coming on fire. <laughs> Is that the frosted flakes right. box? 
I've just been like wearing a st- I just like I've been drinking like a Capri Sun and I didn't feel like throwing the box back down. So I just like put it on top of my head and the headphones is like making it like stay there and I'm just like playing around with it. There's like a mirror across from me and I'm just looking at myself. <laughs> I should film this. I love this box. Right. I should wear a box of my next review. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wanna wear a box! (laughs) (laughs) Batman! (laughs) (laughs) I've done that before and that's what my friend said and I was like, what the fuck? You idiot, I was thinking the blues. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Batman! (laughs) If you had to choose one celebrity to set on fire, who would it be and why? What the fuck? But, uh, I would say, actually, I would say Justin Bieber on fire because he's just an annoying little prick and <laughs> he deserves a burn. <laughs> Why? Uh, yeah, let's see. Next, I, I just, uh, Justin Bieber is just a stupid sensation that's going on. And plus, he's saying freaking Selena Gomez. What the fuck? Yeah. So, <clears throat> you would go and set a kid on fire. Yes, I would. Just the Bieber was set, would be on, set on fire. You're going to jail. You set a kid on fire, you're going to jail. Well, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'll be, I'll, I'll deserve to be in jail for that. Cause I would be like, hey, that's the guy who said Joseph Bieber on fire. What's the wrong All right, so, Last one is, can you send me some cheese curds? No, I don't even know where you live. And that's the attack squad Q and A. Well, and that was another freakishly weird episode of Attack of the Awesome. And maybe because it was the 13th one, it had to be even weirder. I don't know. Let us go to our panel of experts and ask their closing thoughts. Okay, my closing thoughts are, I'm going to constantly talk like this to freak JJ out. I have a new niche. Okay. <laughs> so that was Attack of the Awesome, and you have been attacked. Attack. Attack. Where we will be attacking more. Give Susie a muzzle. <laughs> okay. Thank you and good night. I hate both of you. There you go. <laughs> good night. Let the attack of the bloopers begin. Hello. Hello. Hey. What do you want? <laughs> Give me all your money in this bag that I have here. <laughs> nice and easy. Flakes time. Oh look, there's a tumbleweed. <laughs> well, talk, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> I want all the questions. Too bad. No, I don't for you. Give in the feminine questions for Susie. You're just going to put on a female voice to do them? I, I got the most questions. Why? Because I did ask myself those questions last week. Why? Because I wanted to give you guys the questions, I guess. I couldn't, I don't know, I stuck at organizing. Why? Why not? Why? Why not? Why? Why not? <laughs> Okay, I love you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Are you right up next to the microphone, JJ? Why? Because I can hear you crunching every bloody bite. Fine. Look in there. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> You've been saying that lately, you're... I don't think you are. No, I'm not. I just like saying it. Makes me feel better about myself. You make me feel bad by when you say that. Why? Because I'm fat. Because I'm fat, y'all. Yeah. And I'm fat, y'all. Yeah. And I'm fat and fat because I'm fat, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Freaky fat, 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 fat and fat. Yo. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm fat and I'm back.
fat, real fat, real fat, yeah. Okay, the madness has started again. Mm -hmm. Hi, madness! You and your dogs. You probably Make eat everything they see on the floor. Have you ever had a dog that ate a spider? Yes, my dog does it all the time. <laughs> I'm like, hey, look, a spider! My dog just come. I see the dog just come up and just lick it off the floor. What did he do to you? <laughs> he, no, he's, he sits and plays with it for a wee while. He bashes it to death and then eats it. Why do they eat spiders? What do they taste like? I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Why is that? They probably taste like chicken. Everything else does apparently. I'm surprised we don't eat bugs. There has to be some bugs that are really healthy or something. Like not, crickets or something. They're doing... Uh, somewhere. <laughs> Nearly sounded like I knew what I was talking about. I would say China because they eat everything in China. I was gonna say them. Hey dogs. They just eat everything, including spiders. <laughs> Have you got an affinity with spiders now? No. And just seeing it just eat a spot, it's just like it just was crawling on the floor, and the dog just seen it just ran to it and just ate the crap out of him. <laughs> I mean, I know people it's stomp true. on spiders, but I don't stomp on spiders in like unless they're bothering me. But if it's just crawling across the floor, I'm like, ah, eh, it's a spider. Yeah, well, I'm, I've got a phobia of spiders, so I just let the dog carry on. It's quite hilarious watching. Yeah, I'm not afraid of spiders. I don't know why so many people are afraid of spiders. They have eight legs. Yes, it's a, a creepy use of fast. Anyway, moving off topic. A weird fucking topic. Awesome. <laughs> no, they're not. We have Spider-Man without spiders. Well, I like Spider-Man, but spiders are just horrible. I don't like them. Yeah, I'm trolling on spiders. I don't give a shit. I don't like them. Who's else? Uh, I'll pop <sighs> Son of a. Times. JJ! Wanna win me a Dreamcast? Right, okay. Shut up! <laughs> uh, Tiger blood. Yeah. What? Tiger blood. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, God, I hate you, Tony! <laughs> 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 I hate you so much. That's for trolling on people, it's getting you back. Fuck it, he's trolling on me with his damn frosty flakes. Because <laughs> I'm a cheapskate, you see, I won't actually buy it, the, the buy the full thing off of tracks. I'll just go on YouTube and catch it for free. You're a <laughs> I know. <laughs> you Scots in your free movies. I can't do yeah. a Scottish accent. Can you teach no. me? No, that sounded Jamaican, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was quite good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. The rip track she is awesome. I'd probably just butcher that accent, but I don't care. Anyway. <laughs> the only thing I can say is say Scottishly is hysterical. Hysterical. hysterical? That's what you say all the time. You never say hysterical. something funny, you say hysterical. I, it is hysterical. That's <laughs> why. Uh, oh, God, I hate Tony. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving me cancer. <laughs> Fucking flakes! <laughs> I'd like to see that news story. Little critic sues Tony the Tiger for giving him cancer. Did you fucking do that? The whole time I'm just wheezing. Yeah. <laughs> I've just been thinking of just making up random bullshit videos because they're funny either way. You should have. I, I want to see a little critic doing that about frosted flakes. And, and then I kick the box of frosted flakes like, fuck yo flakes! <laughs> I love trolls. I think trolls should be like these really, really hot chicks, and they should have cow tails. And when you like uh, look at them wrong, they get uh, holes in their backs and stuff. Actually, no, that's the, that's the Scandinavian trolls. And we're Scandinavian. <laughs> we're Scandinavian. I know you, you, Susie. You know it's part of Scottish lore. No. It's not, it's like Europe, it's Sweden and Norway and... <laughs> oh, wait, Denmark yeah, and crap. Where is Norwegian? <laughs> Norway is in Europe. No. Is, is it near you? No. No. Lame. <laughs> you know, whenever I think of Europe, I always think all the countries are, like, really close to each other. Because America has, like, all these states and we can just drive, like, I don't know, maybe, like, 30 minutes and I can make it to, like, Ohio. No, it's not like that. Well, you could drive... How long does it take to get you to London? 
uh, from Scotland, it takes about nine hours. Holy shit! That's how long it takes me to get to New York City! Yeah. Fuck, why? Because that's how long it takes. Ah, damn, I thought you guys were this little tiny country that uh, almost dominated the world. Scotland technically is a country by itself. England. I mean, yeah, but it's too. part of the United Kingdom. It's part of it, but we're a country. Fucking yeah, you guys are a country. Anyway. <laughs> I was watching the Wiz no. the other day, and they were just giant fucking crows, and they were all like, ah! And they were black and shit. Yep. I, hate I yep. love that movie. That was the first show I was in the Wiz. I love <coughs> <didn't know> that. <laughs> oh, God, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm going to diabetes. I hate you, Tony the Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If I die, I want you guys both know that I love you guys so much. Even though I'd always tell you I hate you, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, I am. Uh, the Capri Sun can cure me of my cancer. Yay! I'm sorry for anybody who I feel like I'm insulting who actually do have illnesses like AIDS or diabetes or cancer. I'm sorry. But Tony the Tiger did it to me. <laughs> Susie, you don't have to connect, do you? Uh, no, my brother's got an Xbox 360, but... You have a no. brother? Yes, I do. Holy crap! <laughs> yes, there is another sibling in my family. Are you the oldest or the youngest? I'm the youngest. What?! I am! <laughs> Holy crap, I'm the it's youngest. He's three years older than me. Michael, are you the youngest? I'm the youngest in my family, yeah. <laughs> wow, we're all the youngest in here. That's so weird. Yay! We're just little people. Anyway, well, even though I'm the shortest one probably here. Uh, if you guys can hear me, like turn the pages. Don't be mad. We'll just pretend it's a story, a story time tape we're listening to. There here. once was a man that lived in a can. He never paid any of his rent, so that's why he had to pay with his own rubber bands. Turn the page. <laughs> why did they make that noise whenever you had to turn the page? It's because kids are stupid. You have to make a funny noise for them to be able to realize, Oh, I'm going to turn the page. You should, be a, you should be a teacher or a kindergartner watcher or something, and then like you could take your kids out on walks, and they'll be like walking dogs. <laughs> no, my mom's a teacher. I, I've seen what it's like. Yeah? Why don't you do it like mother, like daughter? That no. really doesn't sound right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Tony. Yeah, tigress. It's in my throat. Yeah. Um... At least it sounds like a chick when I say that. Anyway, I was about to say something about X-Men First Class. I still haven't seen it. Susie was meant to see it, but since she doesn't like reading comic books, she's all like, Oh, I'm not seeing that movie. <laughs> it's not going to hysterical. <laughs> that is scantily good. <laughs> Hey, that is a, it's up. very, very good. Um, it's not that I'm not a fan of comic books, it's I don't have time to sit and read them. And I do like superhero movies. Anyway. What? Who did it star that? Oh, no. Yeah. What? Who did it star? The next Wait, what? First they, class. I don't know. Um, I think James McAvoy's in that. Is he hot? Uh, he's Scottish. Oh, uh, well, well, <laughs> well then. So, like, I, I'm, I'm meant to go see X-Men because it has Halle Berry in it. Yes. No. Yeah. No, no, no. Anyway. Oh, okay. Anyway. It didn't work. Interrupting Mike anyway. is my job. Yay, 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 yay. Okay. I kind of jumped ahead. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's, the, it's the tigress. It's taking over. Anyway. You're not going to get it. You're going to laugh at me and my, like, disease rich coughed and shit. Anyway... Have you I'm heard of the bloopers? <laughs> <laughs> That's where they're going. Okay, thank you. Um, hmm. It's more like... I don't know. I don't even know what year it is, but... You we've never do, seen this... You do it... What? <laughs> How do you not know what time the song came out, but we're going back in time? Now the time what? machine gonna go out of control, and then we're gonna get stuck <laughs> in, like, the fucking 80s. You're <laughs> sucked. Oh, wait, no, I can go see Nightmare on Elm Street when it was originally released. Kick ass! And I'd be a baby. Yay. Oh, I wouldn't even be a fetus. I'd just be like a sperm in my father's testicles. <laughs> okay. That'd be well, pretty weird if you had cheese coming in the mail. Well, a lot of people do that, too. That actually, the, I we go to this cheese place, and you can buy cheese, and you can send it to people around the world. 
Yeah, so you get your mail. Okay, let's let's get the mail in for today. Bill, Bill, letter from my mom. Oh, the Bill. <laughs> Bill. Oh, I got my cheese. Me and Mike were sitting together. <laughs> we were sitting on a log and just uh, rocking back and forth. Bob the Builder. God, you fix it. I would be disturbed that... if there was a Bob the Builder porno. That would be awesome. <laughs> no. Can you fix it? Oh, yes. yeah. You can't stop doing that. <laughs> 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 Fuck. All right.